That day, Artemis Aphrodite Proctor wound up in the penalty box. She awoke to darkness and the air clouded with a strange musk, teeth chattering like a clockwork toy. Her eyelids were heavy, reluctant to open. Hardwood chilled her skin. Proctor blinked through a spray of her curly black hair across the floor of a room she did not know. Then footfalls and a hairy knuckled hand gently lifted four locks of hair from her face. A man knelt and waved. Good morning, Artemis, he said in cheerful Russian. Her mind swam and churned, thoughts lost in the murk. She took in the room. A table, two chairs by a window. Her pineapple print panties rumpled on the floor. A drained bottle of vodka tipped on its side. Halo of someone else's purple lipstick along the rim. She sat up against the couch, stark naked and cold, the Russian went to an armchair by the window. He lit a cigarette. She bent her knees into her chest and shut her eyes because the room was spinning. Quite the night, said the Russian. I have seen things no man should ever see. Click of the tongue. You monstrous little woman. Who are you? Proctor said, also in Russian. Her eyes were still shut. Light brought rotation, tilting. Anton? he said. After a minute, she hobbled to her feet and looked around for her clothes. Other than the panties, she saw only her leather jacket and a muddy Reeboks. And it struck her that there was a hole blown clean through her memory, pure black since ordering drinks last night. She'd been with a Russian developmental, a Moscow party boy with access to heavier hitters, the Kremlin, the security services. And he was either dead or in on this. Probably both. As her vision steadied, Proctor could make out the morning bustle on Drudaki through the window. A light rain pattered on the glass. The table in front of Anton was spread with platters of food, cups and glasses for the morning hundred grams, the sto gram of vodka. Proctor struggled into the Reeboks and panties, twice nearly losing her balance, and then paused for a breath before starting on the jacket. She felt along the front and discovered the pockets emptied of her phone, keys, and switchblade. Then she flopped into the chair across from the Russian. Anton chuckled. <laughs> Artemis Aphrodite Proctor, CIA Chief of Station, underpaid civil servant. <laughs>